I started as an engineer in undergrad. Then I had my first bio 101 class, intro to biology, and I had this dynamic, fantastic teacher. I discovered biology mostly because of a teacher, just one teacher, um, and that totally set me on that path. So I transferred to a school that did have a well-established, well-funded bio department in genetics. This was at Indiana University in Bloomington. My PhD was at a small school at a historical black college and university, Meharry Medical College in Nashville, which is actually where I'm a faculty now. The PhD research was on a obscure disease called Chagas disease, very prevalent in South America and Central America. Meharry had four labs doing tropical disease, which was very rare to see, even at a larger place. That's what attracted me a lot, that potential to collaborate with lots of people, looking for molecular mechanisms of how the disease takes hold, eventually getting to a vaccine. That, that was the interest. I had a lot of discussions with people at Vanderbilt, where I was considering doing my postdoc, about, well, hey, I really like this informatics stuff. Can I do it as a PhD, a bench person, and use these techniques, or should we flip that around and you know, actually do a, um, a, a proper degree in informatics? The advice I got from everybody, you can't do this as a hobby. It can't be a side gig. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta do it 100%. So that was really appealing. All my focus during my PhD was on the parasite and how it infects cells. But now it's like time to incorporate, okay, what happens in the patient and multiple patients in a population. So that needed to be ingested. And working with the data specifically, that was a very important part of, of that transition to biomedical informatics. The type of research I was doing was looking at the circuitry of a cell and how it would react in response to an infectious agent or a mutation in a disease. So being able to combine what I you know, learned from engineering and also from infectious disease bench research into this informatics approach, that was definitely the part of growth for me and for career. Then I realized like, hey, wait a second, where's the teaching part? So I asked for a faculty appointment as well so I could teach. We started a two-hour graduate course, Introduction to Bioinformatics. All of our students came from biochemistry or microbiology backgrounds. Now we've got a couple of computer science people, which is great. For my research, incorporating informatics lets us answer the same questions we had before, but with such a wide array of approaches that you get a much more complete picture of what's going on at the cellular level or at the patient level. These are our tool sets, these are our skill sets. We can do these things. We can teach them to the students and we can apply them to your research. And it's part of your Swiss Army knife that you need. That's, that's the approach that we take.